everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome to another mod review. So this is another mod for the infants and this is so helpful. So this mod actually makes the needs go down slower. A lot of people are noticing that the needs are just like going down super quickly and obviously infants are very needy, but some people are finding it like more than it should be, like where the Sims don't have time to do anything else, like it's impossible. People are saying it's like impossible to raise twins. So this mod kind of slows it down a little bit. I don't know if the Sims team is gonna be like changing this with an update. Some people were saying like the recent update that happened, like all of a sudden the infant's needs were going down so much faster. I haven't noticed. I just know that they're always like such a handful. So if you guys want to slow that down a little bit, then this mod is going to be perfect for you. So before we get into it, let's do our notification shout out. And this one goes to Sarah. Yeah, I had no idea either. I'm so glad that I found that out. You can actually take infant photos like on your Sims phone or their camera and the infants will pose. Like it is so cute. I hope you enjoy the pack when you get to play with it some more. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So let's just jump straight on into this. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys like where to download this first. Of course, the link will be down below, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it up. Okay, so here it is here. It just says slow infant needs decayed by half. So this is a 50% slowdown. And this mod is by Plum Lace. So I'll have it linked down below. It's completely free to download. Okay, also, isn't he so freaking cute? His name is Leroy. I <laughs> He is so adorable. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and just keep an eye on his needs. I feel like this mod review is very self-explanatory, but I did wanna show you guys if it's actually working. So I thought it would be the perfect bet to just go ahead and start a brand new game. And then we can kind of see how the needs are going. Right off the bat, like to be honest, I feel like it's slower. Like honestly, I know we like barely even started playing, but if you guys are familiar with the infants and how fast things go down and everything, then you know, you know. <laughs> Um, it's just like, it's so fast and like, you know, it's realistic, but it's almost sometimes it just seems like even harder than a real infant. I guess it depends on the infant, right? But like, sometimes it seems like no matter what you do, the needs are just going down ridiculously fast. And obviously in real life, you know, it's hard to make time for anything other than your infant. But like, if you guys have been playing, you guys know, you guys know. So I think I actually will keep this in my actual game because you know, with my growing together LP, I'm trying to do storytelling and everything. And like, you know, we want to like teach our infant things. And that's really difficult right now, to be honest. What's funny is I actually noticed in my little gameplay videos when I had the early access, it, I mean, it was definitely a lot. The infant was definitely needy, but I actually do find that it is worse now. So I don't know like what changed there from like the early version till now. I don't know. I know there was an update to like remove like the whole teeth falling out thing because there was like a glitch with the kids when the teeth fall out, then like they'd age <laughs> up and not look themselves. I don't really know because I didn't experience that yet. So I don't know. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, what a little cutie. Look at how cute cute you are. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so I'm not sure myself, but yeah, I know there was an update for that. So I don't know if that messed with things, but you can see here, look how good you still feel. I'm going to actually speed things up just to kind of like really see this. So, I mean, if you don't want it to be where like all the needs are going down slower, you can go ahead and actually get the version where it's just the energy, I believe. So that's another thing. Obviously infants needs need naps, but sometimes, especially if you get the wiggly trait, it is a thing, at least in my game, where they're like always tired unless they fall asleep in a Sim's arm. Like if they're sleeping in their crib, they just will not get rested. It's just, yeah, it's kind of a disaster. Okay, so he, it says rest time. Oh, because you've been awake for too long. Well, honestly, I mean, we could have you rest, but like you don't really need it. We're gonna put you over here. And if he wants to go ahead and take a nap, then he can do so. But because the needs are going down slower, he really doesn't need need one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of try to play and oh she might go pick him up now when I literally just oh no wait. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I haven't even done this yet. Like play with them with the playmat like this. But yeah, this is definitely a huge difference. It's actually making even more of a difference than I thought it would. I think this is good if you're a storyteller and I, I kind of hope maybe they come out with like an in-between. Like right now, there this is 50%. I would love to see maybe like 30% just because this is pretty slow. Like I feel like, you know, obviously this infant is feeling like it's rest time, but they're not really tired. So they don't even have to really rest. So I would like to see one that's like in between, but of course you can still have them take a nap. But yeah, guys, I think this is good. I think this is good for those of us who just like want to do other things and have our infants learn things at a little bit of a faster rate, not fast, but just like, you know, and especially if you have like a family, 
with a bunch of sims and you're kind of wanting to like tell all of their stories and you don't want it to be like only based around the infant because that's something that was happening to me it was like the all the focus was only on the infant and like yes they're gonna have the most attention but it's like it can be harder to story tell in other areas when the infant's needs are going down like crazy and then if you have twins this is definitely helpful like I, I think this will be nice for my runaway teen pregnancy series it's not so much about making it easier it's just more so like being actually able to story tell and play your game in other areas <laughs> you know like basically i just feel like if you have an infant especially if there's two of them your gameplay kind of just turns into only infant gameplay like that's just what i've noticed <laughs> I've been able to do other things, but like it's mostly just revolved around them. And I feel like just from a storyteller perspective, you know, it's just you're trying to control everyone, right? So <laughs> I think that's nice. And I think it'll definitely be great for let's plays even if you play on your own and you're just a huge storyteller or you like your sims to like multitask and do lots of different things i think it'll be great but yeah guys that's pretty much it i feel like so far the infant mods that have released have been pretty quick and basic but i mean there hasn't been much time for them to release so i cannot wait to see what's going to be coming out for the infants within like the next month or so although i almost feel like the infants don't need that many mods so i'm actually curious what kind of mods we'll see i can definitely see some like toy mods and stuff coming out more things for them to play with i think would be amazing but yeah so far like i just did a video on the diaper bag mod they're they've all been like little things but definitely necessary things so i hope you guys enjoyed this one like i said this is free to download the link will be down below and with that said i'm gonna wrap this up here if you guys enjoyed if you guys are all an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below i love you guys also so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys the night is young, so it's hard.